Because what? Pressure of notches. Okay. Here, there are three different. There are three different types of notches. One is rectangular notch, V notch, trapezoidal notch. The conduction for the experiment for all the three notches is one and the same. Okay. Coming to the past, this is your collecting tank, measuring tank, piezometer. This part is the channel, and this the whole part is the hook gauge. Okay. How to conduct the experiment is first in exam they will specify which notch you want to conduct the experiment only on that notch. Specify which notch you want to conduct the experiment only on that notch you are going to conduct the experiment. Suppose if they ask, ask for rectangular notch means you are conducting the experiment only on the rectangular notch. Okay. First part is you are going to fix the notch plate here. After fixing the notch plate, notch plate this is your control valve from where you are going to control the flow of water. Clockwise. It's closed. Anti-clockwise open. If I'm turning the valve in the clockwise direction, means I'm closing the valve. If I'm turning the valve in the anti-clockwise direction, means I'm opening the valve. The first part is we'll switch on the motor. We'll open this valve slowly by turning the valve in the anti-clockwise direction. As I turn the valve in the anti-clockwise direction, the water will enter the channel. Once the water will enter the channel, the water will be flowing through the channel. Once the water is coming out of the channel, that is, once the water is overflowing from the channel. Switch off the motor. Close this valve completely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The water which is overflowing from the channel has to stop completely. At that point, you are going to adjust the hook gauge. How to adjust the hook gauge means first open the knob, adjust the height such that the tip of the needle should touch the surface of the water. Okay. Now assume the level of the water in the channel is this part. Then lock this part. After locking this. Coincide main scale zero to one year scale zero. Okay, that's finished. That is, you are adjusting the hook gauge to some inchal value. Now the inchal value of the hook gauge is zero. Finish. Come this way. See, we are making the height of this to zero. Okay. Now this is the height of the water. We are making the height of the water to zero. Now, if I switch on the motor, if I open this valve slowly, the water level in this will increases. Now you want to measure what is the height of this. Now make use of this hook gauge. Don't disturb this part. Don't disturb this part because you have set the hook gauge to some initial value. Only make use of this. Open the knob. Adjust the height. You'll get what is the height of this. This is the final reading. The hook gauge reading will be same. The initial reading will be same throughout the experiment. The initial reading will never change. The initial reading will be same. You'll get, you'll get what is the height of this for the first reading. After taking the height using the hook gauge, close this valve. Take the time for 10 centimeter. This completes your first reading. For second reading, increase the flow rate by turning the valve in the anti-clockwise anti direction. direction. If you increase the flow rate, this is the first reading. Okay, mm -hmm. the level of the water will increase us. Now you want to measure what is the height from here to here. That is why the initial reading will always be same throughout the experiment. Again, open this knob, adjust the height. Don't disturb this part. In any case, you'll get the height. What is the level of from here to here? After taking this, close the valve. Take the time. Second intervals. For third intervals, again increase the flow rate. Okay, thus completes the.